Hey guys, this week we've done something a little bit different than just catfishing. Um, it's mid-April and the skipjack are starting to run pretty good at most dams. So we just kind of forgot about catfishing this weekend and we stocked up on some bait and man, we had a blast. Uh, we ended up catching, I think, 99 skipjack. If I'd have known that, if I'd known it was 99, I would have stuck around, and caught one more, and made it an even number. But either way, we had a great time, got plenty of bait, uh, caught a lot of really big skipjack. Yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of video because it's kind of the same thing over and over, and I know it'd get pretty boring pretty quick. But uh, I did have my nephew turn the camera on for a minute, and he got uh, some footage of us catching a few, but. We, ended, we caught a couple of bonus fish while we were catching skipjack as well. My son, Landon, he caught a really nice white bass. And I ended up catching a, my biggest walleye. A lot of people think I'm crazy for driving two or three hours to catch bait, but it's not just about catching bait. Uh, I mean, that's half of it, but it's just a lot of fun catching them and going out with the family and doing something different. I'll show you what I used here to catch them. It's just a cheap spinning setup, uh, 10 pound main line, small barrel swivel. And then uh, I like to run th any more than three jigs. I just seem to stay tangled up more than it's worth. And, uh, but I've just got three tied in a row about 12 inches apart and these little jigs seem to do the best especially when the when the sun's shining but they're just little hair jigs and they got two little uh i don't really know what you call that two little ribbons that hang off of them and when the sun hits them they just flicker and you know they look just like a little bait fish there's a couple different people that make pretty much the same jig these are made by arky but I think B&M makes the same jig and I think they're a little bit cheaper. They're not, they're about a dollar a piece. So that adds up pretty quick when you hang up and lose three at a time, but they do seem to be about the best thing I've found. Started out at Barkley Dam in Western Kentucky, which is about three hours from my, where I live. And they were there, but the water was up and they were kind of in one spot. And if you weren't in that spot, I mean, you might catch a few here and there, but there were some guys that pretty much had that spot tied up and I wasn't gonna go down there and try to fight them for it, of course. They were there first, it was their spot. But uh, we ended up catching 25 at Barkley and uh, we ended up leaving there and that was on Friday. And then we went to another dam on up river and we ended up catching 74 and just just two or three hours down there and like i said we had a blast but i hope you enjoyed what little footage i got be sure to subscribe give me a like thanks for watching until the next one have a good one We probably will. I don't know. Hagen said he'd be there in the morning. Shiny honey. <laughs> that was that was something. We ran out of room in our cooler. My wife went to get us another cooler, but look what a mess we got here. Wait, no, seven minutes. It's been two. Got a big one. Wee. Man, we need a big gun. Start putting them back in there. Try to put them back in there.
Over here, you know, they're just going all over the ground. 